This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Let's uh, let's talk about the next match here. We've got Test and Kane. They're going to go 10 minutes and nine seconds. Meltzer actually dug it. He gave it three stars. He says, notice the WCW guys go over on a WWF main line, mainline star are actually WWF guys. The two put together a good match. So it's test over Kane in 10 minutes and nine seconds. Meltzer would say, uh, test clocked him with the ring bell right in front of Nick Patrick to establish Patrick as a heel and pretty much tell everyone a screw job was coming. Uh, eventually, as you can imagine, uh, we have a little bit of a distraction. So test can do his kick of death. And after the match, Kane choke slams Patrick twice and leaves him for dead with a power bomb. So we're telling a story here that we've got a heel referee, same thing we've seen from Nick Patrick on WCW. So I guess that sort of fits, but what do you think of the, the heel referee as a concept? Not much. Yeah. Uh, not much. I, I, is, is it feasible if executed correctly and the right time of a match to do it once and that it would have an effect, have an impact on what, uh, you, what you're looking to, to obtain. No, it's no problem there, but to have an outright heel referee in a, uh, in a, in a match or he's declared heel and you know, who's rooting for, so to speak. I didn't, I didn't like it. It, it didn't, it took the mystique off of it. If you're going to, if you're going to screw somebody as a referee, then do it once and do it good. But really it was just too predictable to me. And that's not knocking Nick Patrick. He was a, Nick was a good referee. And, and I remember, uh, it's funny how things pop back in your mind. Yeah. I, I remember doing the pay sheets for, uh, that show. And I remember bonusing Nick Patrick because he took two big old ass bumps of cane. And, uh, you know, that's a little above and beyond the one, two, three. So I, I remember that, that he got some extra cheese on a swapper <laughs> or, uh, going above and beyond the call there. I give him some extra sauce Conrad on his ribs. That's Ain't nothing wrong did. with that. We love that. We love the sauce. Um, <laughs> Test getting a win over Kane's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Hindsight, what do you think it was that kept Test from being a bigger, bigger star? Was it just his, as you like to say, reliability? A little bit of his reliability, no doubt. Uh, he had intermittent interludes of connecting with the audience. He had a great look. Uh, and, you know, he had a lot of good things. He checked a lot of boxes, but I think that the ability to stay connected and he might, if he was alive today and God bless his soul, that if he would probably say, well, I, I wish I had this to do over, I could do this over. Uh, but he had some drug issues and, uh, I don't understand. Well, I guess I can't understand it guys uh, taking downers, you know, uh, sleep. AIDS, muscle relaxers, somas, all that shit. Uh, and I think he had uh, some issues with that because he and I talked about that face to face. And, you know, I told him, I said, you know, Andrew, we're, we're, we're going to try to bring you back, but you got to be clean beyond a shadow of a doubt. And you're going to be regularly. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.